inside the test plan. So let's go to the test plan first. Right click on it and see what's up here there. Threads, test fragments, config element, blah, blah, blah. So for now, what we can do, we can simply add a thread group. And I am going to name it as execution engine. I would select forever for it. Uh, I would tell you why I have done it. Okay, let's keep, I'll tell you later. Hmm. So this execution engine is a thread group. So to give you a further idea, what we are going to do that I am going to make this thread group as my execution engine. This would be the sole control for the whole framework that is going to build up in few minutes. So this is the main function for our uh, this framework utility that we are going to build up. So I am not going to straight away put these transaction controllers inside this uh, thread group that is a common practice today in the market. Despite I am going to do something very different and what it is because anyways we want to add we have to add these keywords inside the test plan otherwise that keywords and our research would have wouldn't have of no use so let me add a something very good that i like a lot a test test fragment let me pull it up yeah i like this execution engine to be in the bottom <laughs> So uh, if you will see, if you will notice that this, this test fragment by default in, it, in its disabled state. So I can enable it. Now inside this test fragment, let me see what's up there. Uh, what I am going to do, I would, I am going to add a switch controller over here. And I am going to name it uh, the keyword executor and I am going to pass a variable over here it would say like uh, action yeah so this is the method I am going to add it in the switch value of the switch controller now it's up the keyword execute so guys you are seeing that your keyword driven framework is going to is progressing further to get its maturity and soon you you are going to be amazed i mean you will be having a great fun so this keyword executor i have put it down here now what i am going to do i'm interested to put all these transaction controllers inside the keyword executor or the switch controller i mean all the transaction controllers what is this what i have done guys okay let me remove it first yeah so now it's up with a switch controller transaction controllers every transaction controller contains only one sampler http request we have complied right here so so far so good yeah okay so now what we are going to do uh, we have already added this in the test plan so I simple it's of no use anymore our rough work has already been moved to the test plan the executable entity I can simply remove it yeah so now it's off now in the keyword executor I added this action switch value all these transaction controllers have already been added here but how these keywords should be called and who would call these keywords i am not seeing any utility yet being designed here which would call these keywords so let's design that uh, what i would suggest uh, i think i should do here in the execution engine because I told you earlier that whatever we are going to control from whatever wherever it would be the 
thread group only. So th this is the only execution control point or executional unit, or you can call it as your CPU as our case. So let me add few fancy elements here. Uh, I would add for the for each controller and inside the for each controller I would add the module controller. So you see that it's some fancy the test plan your structure. You would see the same structure test fragment here. You would see the same keyword executor which is here and you would see that all the keywords are also here. So make sure that this keyword executor remains selected and uh, in the next video I would also tell you to exploit these things in more flexibility. But for this today's video the scope is that you should select this keyword executor. Uh, by default it would be selected anyways but if you add few more libraries by my point is to say that for this test fragment, we can say this is the library. Why is it it's a library? Because inside this library, we have a lot of keywords which are reusable. I would be able to create multiple test cases while using these keywords. I would use two keywords, I would create one test case. I would use five different keywords in different orders. I would create five different test cases. So that's the reusability we are going to build here. So for that, I'm making it a library. And the important thing is that I can add as many as libraries I want. So I am adding more libraries here. So I would say it, call it that library new. I would say library legacy so there are new libraries let me put inside the library not inside I'm in the same hierarchy level so there are the other libraries so let me enable them first I mean, JMeter is too awesome. As an open source, it provides a lot of good things. And uh, to, to let you guys know, if you guys are interested in studying the multi-threading concepts, to, to, nothing is better than seeing the source code of JMeter. It's the complete multi-threaded program, as in. So, uh, suppose uh, at some later point of time, your application comes up with some new features and pages. So then you will be creating or recording or adding new keywords so you can use few more libraries there or you can simply add them or if your architecture allows or if it demands you can make different libraries so for say that I am putting few keywords in this library as well Uh, let me copy this and add it here now all these are all also added here but I would remove few so that just to give you an idea that other libraries would have different number of functions or may have different names as well so I would say one 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 it's it's a different library different keywords that you will be creating one and one similar way you can add this library in, i mean you can create another library and you would call it here that okay this is another functions or another keywords that are our application interest so I guess that you guys have an idea what I am trying to ask I'm trying to say uh, so that's it so that's there are the libraries built over here yeah so th three libraries we have but we are going to use this library because obviously 
we have played with these libraries in order to make you guys understand that what is the concept behind but obviously this is the correct library that we have currently so inside the module controller we would select this keyword executor not these these keyword executors because if you would select this these keyword executors this library would take up from the uh, at the run time and this library would be executable so for now let's select it keyword executor so this is our library for for now all and for now we don't want to go deeper into these two libraries so these are the keywords now now inside the execution engine in the for each controller in the for module controller we have already selected our keyword executor which is a switch controller having an action parameter which would control these keywords but this is not completely implemented yet how because we don't know what this action about and how is this action is corresponds to the execution engine which is the control unit so for here what we would do we would come up here and do something very interesting and for example I would just say 0 100 output variable name would be the keyword An input variable prefix would be the action I think you guys getting any idea this action remember and remember this keyword no we are we haven't used this keyword yet so what we will be doing here very good what we will be doing here we have to add we need to add something more because this is this seems incomplete for now so I am going to come up in my control unit and I would add something different which is uh, where is the do you guys see the debug sampler I am on the wrong place yeah this is the debug sampler so in this debug sampler we will be doing that keyword stuff and for that what I am going to do just please focus that I have uh, I think copy pasted a script somewhere around uh, I think it's not here so let me go back and let me first save it uh, what would you guys call this uh, I would call this JMX for now Gmeter Maven. So you guys uh, see what I have written Maven. Yes, we will be using Maven in this uh, video only as well. So let me save it uh, somewhere inside the documents. Oh no, what I would do, uh, let me save it let me save it with demo.jmx inside the documents only so it's now there now yeah so now I have a lot of different frame different frameworks so let me open them up Oh yeah, so this this was the thing that I have already prepared for the demo purposes, but uh, I would uh, iterate on the same uh, framework that we were talking about. I am just I have just come up here just to copy uh, a thing that I need to do. So this is the debug sampler that I am going to copy it, and now I am going to see the same demo in the execution engine. In the debug sampler, we will be copying paste this tip, uh, this one, and make sure to mark it all the true. Save it. So see this keyword, the reference has been used. But what are these test case IDs and these keywords? What is all these about? What are these doing? And how, what are the, where is the reference we have given? So yes, we haven't given any reference yet. So again, in this control unit, in this control unit, 
we will be adding something more and what would be it would be the 